Not many people know this, but the Gloucester Gladiator had two fuselage guns that fired through the aircraft's engine. Well, it's even passed through the gap between the two cylinder heads, and you can see this from the small indentations on each side of the engine cowling. It was introduced just two years before the outbreak of the war, and while you may be thinking it looks pretty outdated compared to the Spitfire or Hurricane, the British government thought the Gladiator was so important that it was ordered in greater numbers than any of its predecessors. While in service during the Battle of Britain, only one squadron of Gladiators was operational at RAF Rubera. In Devon. It was to be the RAF's last biplane fighter and served with the Portuguese Air Force until as late as 1953. When you think about it, it's remarkable that the RAF was operating a fixed undercarriage fighter aircraft as late as they did. As we move underneath the wing, you can see one of two machine guns that's fitted underneath it. Panning towards the nose of the aircraft, you begin to see the machine guns that were fitted to the fuselage. Here are the bullet runs, and as we get even higher, you can see those indents I mentioned before where the bullets were fired through the engine cylinders, and there's the machine gun. It was fitted with a fixed pitch prop and was reported to be a relatively easy aircraft to fly. So what do you think? Should the RAF have been operating biplanes as late as they did? Or should they have been putting more money into developing more faster monoplanes like the Spitfire or Hurricane? Let us know in the comments.